We are in total harmony and agreement. And this is the, 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 the wish that we have, and this is the message that we are taking out throughout the country, that Kanu is united, that Kanu is strong, and that Kanu has the potential, as I told you when we were in Naivasha. With this kind of unity, with this kind of clarity of purpose, Kanu has the possibility, indeed, of forming a government come the next year. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, uh, we are all now moving out to begin that process uh, of recruitment so that we can strengthen the party, leave the boardrooms now and go out and be where the members are. And that is in the countryside. As you know, kind of strength is not in boardrooms. It is with the people. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to expound on much. The uh, yes, we are we are as you know. I have just come back in from South Africa, where I was attending the uh, um, a major uh, anniversary for the uh, African National Congress. And today we also have our colleagues in uh, the PNU Alliance. These are individuals who we are working with. Uh, we are working with them together, and we will attend their 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 launch of their recruitment drive and we hope to also invite them to attend our launch when we officially go uh, our recruitment uh, drive as well so we are very clear <laughs> uh, we are very clear on what we are what we what 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 we intend to do and what we are doing but we have always stated that we are willing to work with like minded parties for the sake of unifying this country and for the sake of developing in this country and for the sake of taking this country to the next level of development. We cannot achieve the Vision 2030 that we have set ourselves uh, as a nation if we are not going to be able to work with others. Kanu has always been willing to work with others, but we believe that we must work from a position of strength. Yeah. So the end of the day we have full respect for the judiciary and, and uh, the position that they have taken. We have all been waiting and we have stated even previously that we are waiting for the court to rule. We shall respect, we shall respect their ruling. But I think a more substantive uh, uh, statement shall be forthcoming from the Secretary General's office once we have had a chance to, to uh, study the ruling in, uh, in detail. So I think you can expect at some later stage a more substantive st uh, um, statement from the Secretary General. Thank you all. Asante Sam.